Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltex Technically Speaking. Today, we'll be looking at Ford's Barra engine to see why it's becoming one of the most popular swaps around. You've probably been seeing quite a lot about Ford's straight six Barra engine recently. There's a good reason for that. It's now one of the most popular engine swaps in Australia, and there's a growing interest in these engines in the United States. Today, we're gonna to investigate what all the fuss is about and why everyone is making so much noise about this particular engine. First, a little history. The Barra 6 is an Australian-made inline six-cylinder engine that was manufactured between 2002 to 2016 in the south of Australia in Victoria. It's named after a fish, but being built in Australia, its namesake is the Australian Barramundi, not the Barracuda as it's often thought. While the Barra can trace its roots right back to the 2.4-litre, 114 cubic inch Thrift Power 6, which powered the 1959 North American Ford Falcon Compact, that's where any relationship with the American engine ends. From that time on, all development was carried out in Geelong, Victoria, through the cross-flow motor of the 80s and the Intec engine found in the now infamous AU Ford Falcon to the Barra that we're talking about today. Available in both naturally aspirated and turbocharged configurations, the Barra was the go-to engine for the locally built Ford Falcon in all the body styles, from the sedan through to the wagons and the extremely Australian Aussie Ute. It also powered the Ford Territory SUV and a factory LPG or propane burning variation was the mainstay of the Australian taxis for many, many years. Factory outputs varied from 156 kilowatts or 209 horsepower in the LPG taxi form to 325 kilowatts or 436 horsepower in the ultimate incarnation of the engine, the limited edition FGX XR6 Turbo Sprint variant, which also had an overboost feature that increased power to 370 kilowatts for up to 10 seconds at a time. Okay, so let's take a look at the engine itself. With a capacity of four litres, the Barra can definitely be defined as a big six. And despite its long history, it's actually a thoroughly modern engine featuring double overhead cams, four valves per cylinder, and truly variable cam control on both the intake and the exhaust. The Barra is a big, long, tall, and heavy engine, which may seem less than ideal for a motorsport engine, but it's the Barra's robustness that actually makes it ideal for bulk power, especially when boost is brought into the equation. In particular, the later models are strong and ideal for a huge turbo upgrade. Indeed, with basic supporting mods such as replacing the plastic intake with a stronger metal item, valve springs, head studs, and an aftermarket oil pump gear, they've been seen to make an easy 600 rear wheel horsepower on a stock bottom end. This thing, 600 horsepower, factory bottom end. In fact, that's exactly the power that the Mighty Car Mods Cresta made with a stock bottom end when it ran a 9.9 at nearly 140 mile an hour over the quarter mile. One of the Barra's main attractions is its ability to make torque. They pull nice and hard from low down in the rev range with the turbocharged variants creating as much as 425 foot pounds from just 2600 RPM. Another factor that makes these units so popular is that like all straight six engines, it's very well balanced. The pistons move in tandem with their mirror image on the other side of the block, meaning that the reciprocating forces balance out nicely without the need for balance shafts or counterweights. With a built bottom end, a thousand horsepower at the rear wheels isn't too big of an ask from the motor. And believe it or not, the engine in the Dynamite Performance Barra Powered Drag Car makes over 2,000 horsepower, spins over 10,000 RPM, and still uses the factory block and factory cylinder head.
Until recently, the tuning options available for the Barra series of cars was either wiring in an ECU and piggybacking into the factory wiring harness in conjunction with the factory ECU, or reflashing the factory ECU. Well now, Haltech's released our Barra Pro plugin that plugs directly into the factory harness to take full control over the car, all of the CAN information that controls the car, the gearbox, all parts of the car, as well as obviously the engine management of the engine itself. So you can get full control over this motor with your direct plug-in ECU. Now to the things I love about this engine. First of all, they're very cheap. They're readily accessible in Australia and New Zealand. There's plenty of spares available for them. They're super strong, they're super reliable, they're incredibly torquey, they absolutely love the boost, and as an engine package coming out of a factory car, the exhaust manifolds, the way the turbocharger sits, it's such a nice looking package straight out of the box that you really don't have to do a lot to make it look good and to make it perform. The bad point about the Mighty Barra, it is very long, it is very tall, Aftermarket components, while they are somewhat available in Australia, there's never going to be the development that the RB or the 2J has had, simply because this thing's not available worldwide. So while there are a lot of these units in Australia, aftermarket blocks, camshafts, just off-the-shelf exhaust manifolds, they're not going to be as common and there's not going to be as much competition as there is in the 2J or the RB world. Mainly, than what I've already just said, not available in any country other than Australia or New Zealand. That does make it a little bit difficult for the rest of the world to get a taste of the Mighty Barra. Well, that's it for today, but before you go, jump down to the comments and tell us what kind of engine you'd like us to take a closer look at next time. As always, thanks very much for watching. My name's Scott, and I'll see you next time.